the next concept is strain so what is the meaning of the strain take an object of finite length which is fixed at one end suppose if a force is applied on its area automatically there is a change in its length we have seen in the example of the longitudinal stress also how the way to apply the force is to just adding the weights if you add the weights in a pan which is connected to the lengthy wire it is nothing but the force applied on it in a uniform way so automatically length changes maybe expands maybe compress also so if the direction of the applied force is downward that's why the body is expanding body expanding means there is a change in length originally it has some length such like that there will be change in area and there will be change in volume suppose it is a 3d spherical body if you apply the force on one end the compression takes place here automatically the volume of the body will change the so volume may be like this so if you applied force can create the stress in the body as well as strain in the body also that means there are naturally changes occurred in the dimensions of the body change in length change in area change in volume the ratio between the change in the dimensions of the body by the application of the forces to its original dimensions is called strain the ratio between the change in dimensions due to the applied force to the original dimensions is called strain this strain is three different types longitudinal strain volumetric strain and shearing strain the first different type of strain is longitudinal strain as we are discussing the example of the strain we have seen one example that uh, there is a body of unit length weights are added on that then it will expand the expansion will takes like this from here to here the expansion takes place so the change in length by original length is called longitudinal strain longitudinal strain is equal to the change in length by original length the general definition of the strain is the change in dimensions by original dimensions so the change in length we can say it as delta l original length we can say it as l so longitudinal strain is equal to delta l by l if the strain takes place because of the tensile force that is said to be tensile strain
if the strain occurred due to the compressive force that is said to be compressive strain that's the next strain is volume strain So what is volume strain? The change in volume by original volume. That means the strain because of the applied force or because of the applied stress. There is a change in volume. And the change in volume by the original volume of the body gives the volume strain. Therefore, the change in volume by original volume. The change in volume is represented as delta V. Original volume is represented as V. So this delta V by V will give the volume strain. Next one is shearing strain. To understand the concept, let us take a cube type body. A force is applied which are parallel or which are anti parallel to each other like this. Therefore, the displacement of this one will take like this. Let us take the length of the body is or length of the any side of the body is capital L. So from here this point is shifted to some small l displacement. So here it is making an angle theta also. So what is tan theta opposite by adjacent? Opposite side by adjacent side. This is the length of the body of one side capital L. This small l is the displacement of this side with angular displacement because of the two um, anti parallel forces applied on it. So therefore theta is equal to L by L is called shearing strain. For small angular displacement, tan theta will become theta. So what is the definition of this? This is the definition. This definition we can say like this. The small displacement due to the applied forces by the original length of the side. The small displacement due to force by original length of the side this is called shearing strain I means shearing means there is a change in any one point if you like this video please give a thumbs up please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on cbse syllabus